So if you've got a website where you're selling courses or you have an area where someone has to log in before they can access some particular content, a login widget can be something that will suit your brand and look really, really cool on your website rather than using the standard WordPress login. Now, if you have got WooCommerce um, logins, like for my account, where they're going to access virtual or downloadable products, you still got to go through the WooCommerce login where you have login and register. And there's very, you're limited as to how much changes you can do there. And there are plugins like plus add-ons, essential add-ons, uh, I think it's action packs or something like that. There's other plugins out there. Some are premium, some are free that you could use. I'm just doing a simple login widget within Elementor Pro. Let's get started. Okay. So I've got a page that I've called login. Okay, pretty simple, just a page in Elementor login. And I'm gonna add in one section with one column. Now this is where you could be creative. You could have two columns, three columns. You can do whatever you want. It's Elementor, okay? But I'm just gonna go for one column. I'm gonna make this about 400 uh, box width section. There's gonna be no gap and the height is gonna be a minimum height, not fit to screen. Fit to screen doesn't always fit to screen. Anyone out there that says it, no. You sometimes get a bit of a buffer depending on your screen size. I go for minimum height, VH, 100 okay that is now going to fit the screen and it's going to be a column position of middle and that's it that's all i'm going to do there i'm then going to go over and type in login because it's the login widget and there we get the login widget and this is as simple as it gets honestly this is as simple as it gets remember this is a elemental this is a section so i could go in and i might decide okay i'm going to put a background overlay image the reason I'm doing overlays is because I can mess around with the um, the opacity of it. So I might decide, right, I'm going to go for... Uh, let's go for this image here. Right, let's going to go for a dance image, right? Why am I doing this? I don't know. Let's just go for a dance image, right? So this now is pretty blatantly in your face kind of thing. So I might just want to drop the opacity. Sorry, increase the opacity. So you can do things where you can make it very suited to your brand in terms of imagery. Remember, you could have two columns, three columns, you know, with adverts, whatever. I mean, I would say don't do that because you want them to just log in. And nobody wants a complicated login page, right? It's just a simple white or gray page would actually be sufficient. In fact, that is what we will do. Okay, let's get rid of this. Be gone. We do not want you here. And we're just going to go for a simple gray background like that. Okay, just keep it simple. One of the things you might have noticed as well is there is no header footer. So in the settings, this page is hiding the title, obviously, and the page layout is set to canvas. If I put it onto default, this is a test website, by the way, so the header is going to be really rubbish because I just bung stuff in there. That's not so good, is it, for a login screen? So having it as a uh, elemental canvas with a full height works so much better when you come to do desktop, tablet, mobile. Okay, honestly, you can't go wrong with that. Now, the great thing about the login widget when we click into it is you can get rid of the labels. I do think you don't need to have the labels because it will already say, look, if I get rid of the text here, it's already going to say the username, you know, add your username, email address or whatever. So I would say you don't need to have that. When it comes to the button, you can position it and have it however you want. You can even change the wording on it. it this is basic elemental we're talking here. Then we have additional options. I'm going to come back to this, okay, in a moment. I mean, you can get rid of things like lost your password, register it. I mean, you, you know, it's up to you how you want to do it. You might be registering them manually or they might do it via this process or they will have purchased something and then they'll have a login. You decide how you want to do that. Now, if we go to style, this is where you get to modify your style for your labor, uh, for your labor, for your label, the hover color. Same with the fields, we got an orange color, and when you hover, we'll have a red color. So you can modify it to fit your brand, okay? That's pretty important there. And, you know, if you want to have like any little, you know, I'm a, you know, oh, come on, why did that not work? Why did that not work? It should, it should. Oh, I know why, it's because I'm not in preview yet. But when you preview this, that's going to shake a little bit, okay, when you hover over it. So in terms of styling, font, typography, coloring, it's basic elemental people, okay? You cannot go wrong with this and you can mess around with it and stylize it accordingly. The key bit though is if we go back here, what happens after they log in or after they log out? So maybe after they log out, you want them to go somewhere like to a trash bin 
or maybe you take them to a certain page. Like, hey, where are you going? But then again, you don't have to log out. Just let them log out. I, I don't like it when people take me to another page saying, please come back. It's like, no, I'm off to make tea. But when they log in, do you want them just to log in and then go somewhere? Or do you want them to go specifically to a page? Maybe you're selling courses. Maybe they're going to go to another page, for instance, which is, um, so how to clarify this. Let's say you've got a website where you're selling courses, okay? And normally when they log in, they will go to a page and it might be something like, say, so I'm putting in the URL here, and they might, when they go to a page called courses, that's already picking up who they are and what courses they've purchased. It might even be account or something. It might, it might be an account page, right? It could even be the account page. You could even do something like that, right? When you do that, when they log in, they will now get taken to that page. So you've got a stylized branded page now that fits your brand, basically, which is why it's a branded page. And then they will go over to the relevant page. And th this is a test website. So if I now do this, it's not going to work very well. But if I just go over, um, of course, by the way, do test this out on your mobile and your desktop and tablet. You know, make sure you're responsive. No, so you're going to have to mess around with your columns, your padding. Um, so I'm just gonna go over here and put a like about 15 uh, for the left and right, so it's not completely against the side. Check all of that in your responsive mode. But if we now go to a private window, and I type in this address, okay, like that, this is now the login page. So when someone logs in, they will get taken to the courses page or whatever page you wanted them to go to. So this is a really simple way of doing a login widget. Now, please bear in mind, I've done this on a totally separate page. However, you could have put this widget on your home page or another page or another page, wherever you want. It doesn't have to be on its own unique page. And this could have been put into a template, right? So you could have had a pop-up template. So we could have had a button over here. It could have been within your menu where you have like, um, so where you go to, you know, a menu appearances and you add a label in for login, you know, it could be a button and the button might link to this pop-up or you could have like a label with a custom URL, again, back to this page or a pop-up. So you can use this in many, many different ways. And if anyone doesn't know how to do a pop-up menu, we have got videos for that or let me know if you specifically want me to create a video on that, but we have got videos on pop-ups, but you can use this in many, many dynamic different ways. And it is so cool that this is available within Elemental Pro. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. And I hope it helps you out with now doing a login widget. Not a login widget, a login form. A login bit or login section, whatever you want to log in. Take care and I'll see you soon.